in this video i am going to tell you what is anaconda what are its advantages and how to install and use it on windows 10 so keep watching hi there welcome to saral gyan today's video is about the anaconda distribution so what is anaconda anaconda is a free and open source scientific distribution for python and r language in fact, it is the world's most popular Python distribution platform with over 20 million users worldwide. When you install Anaconda on a fresh system, it doesn't just install Python for you, but also install NumPy, Jupyter, Pandas, Skype, Matplotlib, Scikit-learn, TensorFlow, Spider, etc. In fact, Anaconda allows you to download and install 7500 Python and R data science packages. Most of the data centers around the world use Anaconda because it's hassle-free and comes with pre-installed packages. Also, if you are a newbie and want to learn Python, Anaconda is a good choice as after installing it, you can directly jump into coding without being worried about installing additional modules, etc. So to install Anaconda on Windows, we will head to anaconda.com, click on products and individual edition and then we'll click on download now there are installer for windows mac os and linux since we are using windows we will be using windows installer and we can either use python 3.7 or python 2.7 and for sure we will be using python 3.7 and to check out whether our operating system is 64 bit or 32 bit we will have to right click on pc goes to properties and here it shows my system is 64 bit your system might be 32 bit so choose the installer accordingly so now i will click on 64 bit installer and save the file it's a 466 mb file and i have already downloaded it so now i will move to the downloaded file So here is the Anaconda installer. So I will double click on it. So it will install Anaconda 2020.0264 bit. So I will click on next and I will agree to the term and the conditions. Now it will ask whether you want to install it for you or all the users. I will select all the users. Click on next and now it will install in C program data anaconda 3 if you want to change it you can change it here and now we will click on next so now there are two advanced options one is register anaconda 3 as the system python 3.7 and another one is add anaconda 3 to the system path environment variables if you click it it says it's not recommended but i will recommend you to click it because by clicking it you will be able to use anaconda from powershell or command if you leave it untick, you can always add it to the path later and I will show you how to do it later. But for now, we will be clicking on it and then we'll click on install. It will take some time, so we'll have to wait. So now my Anaconda installation is complete. I will click on next and next and now I will click on finish. Now if we go to start menu and check the Anaconda 3 folder, there is Anaconda Navigator, Anaconda PowerShell Prompt, Anaconda Prompt, Jupyter Notebook, Spider. And if we click on Anaconda Prompt, it will open this prompt and you can check the version of Anaconda by saying Conda Info. So we have installed Conda version 4.8.2 and now you can also use Conda to install other modules like NumPy. You can say Conda Install numpy and it will install numpy for you here we have got an error says environment not writable error so instead of opening it like this we will again go to anaconda and open it as administrator and now if we will do conda install numpy
so it is installed you can also check the version of python by doing python minus minus version and python 3.7.6 is installed here and you can also assess other features like jupyter notebook from here by typing jupyter notebook and it will give you a url so here if you will copy this paste the url here so now jupyter notebook is open you can create a new python 3 notebook by clicking and this is your notebook this is for inputting the code and if you are a newbie and you are just learning python this can be very helpful for you for example you can run 2 plus 3 and then plus shift enter and the output is 5 you can set the variables like name is equal to saral and then print the variables jupyter notebook is a very vast subject and i will create some helpful videos in the future for that too so for now we will be closing it till now we were using anaconda prompt but instead we can use the navigator also so for that we will click on anaconda go to navigator this is the anaconda navigator and if you see command.exe prompt jupyter lab notebook powershell prompt qt console spider is already installed and you can click on launch to launch it for example we can open the spider editor by clicking on launch so this is spider editor and you can edit your code here and finally i will show you what difference that click on add to the path have done so i will quit anaconda and i will open powershell So here if I type python, it's so here when we have typed python, this is python 3.7.6 and this is the anaconda version of python and if we import sys and print sys.execute table, so here this python is running from anaconda. If we wouldn't have added the path then we won't be able to run anaconda from this powershell window and we will have to use only anaconda's powershell or anaconda's shell to use anaconda's python before installing anaconda i had python 3.7 installed on my pc but after installing anaconda we can only assess the anaconda version of python and if we want to run python 3.7 which was installed from python.org we will have to check out the path and for that I will go to my PC, C drive and here python 3.7 folder and if you open it there is a python exe here. We can check its location by going to the properties. So it's installed in C python 3.7. Now I will go to my powershell and here I will type C python 3.7 and python and now if you run it so python 3.7.3 and this is the version which i have installed from python.org and there is no mention of anaconda in it there could be a case when you haven't added anaconda's path to your environment variable but at later stage you want to add it so now i will tell you how you can do it in that case you will have to open your anaconda shell or anaconda prompt and here you will check the location of conda and anaconda so we'll type conda where it's where conda and then we will type where python so this has given us the location of conda and python and now we will add it to our environment variables for that we'll go to edit the system environments and here we'll go to environment variables and click on new and then we will copy the path from here we just need to copy the path up to the path of the folder and we will paste it here similarly we will copy the path of python and paste it in here. 
and now you are good to go and you will be able to run anacondas version of python from powershell even if you haven't added the path to environment variables at the time of installation this is it for this video hope you have enjoyed it if you have liked the video please give us a thumbs up and if you haven't yet subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon for future notifications thank you for now